Hello, this is gonna be really weird. Hello there on YouTube and hello there on Instagram. Now I thought I'd try this new way where I can film two videos at once because I love Instagram and I love YouTube and I thought for my first video back in ages I'd do like a massive haul of what I got today to sell on eBay, Depop, whatever. And uh, yeah, I'm speaking quietly because it feels awkward. You know when you've completely gotten out of like the rhythm of things and um, you've lost your knack a little bit so it's all a bit awkward but I'm gonna try and share with you a few lovely bits that I got today. Um, these items will be sold on either my personal um, business account which is personal business account I'll explain it Chasing Secrets is a business account so I sell as a business however um, it's mine I now have started a new business with my business partner and soon to be husband, um, OTOT Clothing on eBay too and um, I'm buying for that as well so I picked a few bits that I like that will suit Chasing Secrets um, but then also everything else basically goes to OTOT and OTOT stands for Oh This Old Thing and um, this is like our new company. Um, really excited about it but this will be literally more um how do i describe it more <laughs> an industrial size is that is that the word i'm looking for uh yes yeah, so i'll be listing a lot more um every day like with chasing secrets i'd be listing one or two items um a day um when i was doing really really like really focusing on chasing secrets i was doing probably about 10 15 items a day um obviously that has dropped down to um, a minimal, mini writ, what's the word, minimal, minute, that's it, minute, I can't even think of words now, my brain's fried, um, a minute amount listed every week, if I manage to list one or two items I'm doing really well with Chasing Secrets, but that's because I've been focusing on our OTOT business, um, so yes, that's why Chasing Secrets isn't, um, selling as much as because I'm not as active anymore but that doesn't mean that Chasing Secrets is like disappearing it's not it just um OTOT needed my focus um and now we've got it up and running it's taken two or three months to get it up and running um we have staff um but I'll share more about that in the future in the future videos but for now I thought Let's just do a haul. I love watching hauls. You guys love watching hauls. It's just a great way of saying, hey, I'm back. Um, I know in my previous video I said I was gonna be back. Um, things just got really, really hectic. Um, I got engaged, which was like a complete shock. Um, I wanted to share that with you, but it's just, things just got crazy. And YouTube videos and um, Instagram had to go on the back burner because oh, just so much has happened. Um, I moved into a new house. Um, I've new, um, I have an, another business premises, so I have Chase, Chasing Secrets um, studio, office, warehouse space, but then I also have OTOT, which is based in um, the West Midlands, um, that is also running, so I've got two places now that I'm working from, um, also I'm a mom, and I've got to make sure I'm there for my daughter, planning a wedding, which is happening um, this August, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um, and everything in between so yeah so I'm sure I'll share a lot more about that in the future however I want to do a haul because I really miss doing hauls I really really enjoyed doing hauls and I thought hey let's do a haul let's put it out on Instagram I have been very very active on Instagram in the past year um, not so much on uh, YouTube I don't think I've actually produced any other than that recent one a couple of months ago um, on YouTube so YouTube videos have really gone to the side of things um, even though I do get messages and I do try and reply to your messages on YouTube I had been mainly focusing on Instagram and I really really enjoy the Instagram community um, had a lot of fun there but life got in the way and I had to like, put all social media to the side while I focused on uh, my business and um, basically being a fiance and being a mom. So now everything's starting to settle a little bit more. Yes, the wedding's still being planned. Yes, the business is still like um, new, but it's all been set up. There's, there seems to be like a rhythm to things. I can sort of like settle down. We've now moved house. Um, yeah, 
things were settling so I thought let's get back on to this so without any further ado shall we get on to the haul yes we shall okay first things first that's just a piece of rubbish um I have these I bought a pair of these a number of years ago let's say two or three years ago from the pound shop um and I loved wearing them in fact I just wore them to a wedding uh last week or the week before a, a yellow pair so the exact same pair but yellow now these are proper late 90s early y2k sandals and they've got these 3d I'm going to show them both with different cameras 3d leather roses these are real leather heels and they're a low heel which is like uber like in style at the moment um very easy to wear now if these were my size i would have kept them for myself but they're not for a size five they are by june and they were two pounds so um i don't know whether i told you guys but if i haven't already um the pound shop got a re um a re what's the word refurbished and i knew the moment they'd spent money on refurbishment they were going to like change the prices so it used to be a pound shop everything was a pound no matter what it was it'd be a pound um, now they anything with a brand name on it that they think's worth it they're going to charge two three four pounds uh, sometimes 15 pounds for things but majority of the stuff which is usually the junk is a pound but you do find some gems um, as I will show you so yeah these were two pounds um, so I'm going to pop these on eBay I'm going to clean them up they are in amazing condition they just look like they've been thrown uh, to the bottom of someone's wardrobe they do need some new pips but um not quite yet i don't know if you can see that i'm going to show you on there they're a bit squished but i'm going to do one let's cut those off with a pair of scissors i'm going to show you on this video too this camera sorry can we focus yeah so they need just trimming giving a good uh, disinfectant and they are going to be gorgeous i'll probably model these um to show how pretty they are because these are stunning um they're very very much on trend these strappy 90s style not quite kitten heels absolutely gorgeous I don't think I'll have trouble selling these. I'm going to try for £30 on these. So £2 to £30 is a really good return. Well, that is next. This is, yeah, this is a pound shop. Um, this was a pound. It's by Great Pains. There we go. Let me show you there. And it's brand new with tags. So I've done really well there. Let's find the brand new with tags. Um, this is called the Devore Scribble Top and it's size medium and it was originally priced at £55. It doesn't have a sale tag on so that's really really good. Um, I don't normally pick up Great Plains that often because not always does it sell that great but because it's brand new with tags and it is Devore which is a really popular um, desirable type of fabric um, I thought I'd pick that up. Now Devore if you didn't know it's, it's like a burnout fabric with velvet on it that's the best I can describe it and sometimes it's floral uh, sometimes it's geometric sometimes it's like a, an arty pattern like that um, but yes it's like a velvet burnout it's Devore uh, on that subject we have a really nice crushed velvet um, 90s t-shirt skinny top um, I'll just put that on there I don't know if you can see that um, can you see that there's actually really large floral design on there mm can't really tell but there is like a floral design on there yeah you can just about pick that out um i really like this because it's got a scoop neck it's stretchy and it's quite um it's quite ideal for like winter or um an evening t-shirt tucked into like high-waisted jeans or whatever and um, that's a really nice piece let's see if it has a brand name oh this is british home stores size 12 um but uh, yeah, I bought it for the style and not for the brand. It's proper 90s, nice velvet, skinny top. It was only a pound. Uh, I'm going to try for £20 for that one. Um, these will both go on to OTOT. Uh, these sh the shoes will go on to um, Chasing Secrets because I like those for myself. Oh, I bought this for myself. I'm really struggling to find like proper 90s style t-shirts that are like new, uh, just plain. And then I came across this one. Um, in the pound shop it's vintage Dorothy Perkins that's its proper 90s brand it was only a pound and it's this lovely faded khaki 
crew neck t-shirt. Um, I really, really like that. Um, I'm gonna roll the sleeves up and just wear that as a casual top. I just really like the whole casual sort of t-shirt and jeans kind of look, it's like teamed with jewelry. Um, yeah, so that one's for me. I won't be selling that. This is a H&M blouse. I think it isn't silk, but let's just check. No, it's 100% polyester, it's super, super silky. It does need a wash, but it's this really lovely peasant, almost, um, well, Victorian style pleated bib blouse. Really, really gorgeous with this contrast black um, piping and the contrasting buttons. This is a size 14. Like I say, it's only a pound. It's long sleeved and it has a triple button cuff with this contrasting piping on there as well. I think that's super cute. In fact, I think that's like a cut up. Yeah, it's um, it's lace there as well. So really, really cute. But yeah, that needs a good wash. That one's going to go on um, hemp sided. OTOT probably, because I haven't got the time in the day. Uh, this, I felt it and I thought this feels really, really lovely, but it didn't have a tag in the, as a label, sorry, in the back, it been cut out or is missing. And I thought this does feel really, really nice. It's like a boxy, fair isle, cropped jumper. Um, so you'd have to wear something quite high waisted with it. And then when I looked at the wash label, I looked for the RN number and it's actually an anthropology brand. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether that means it's going to be anthropology itself. Um, or it's um, Urban Outfitters, so we'll see. I'm going to Google it. It's probably going to be, at my guess, Urban Outfitters, but it does feel really, really good. Um, and higher quality things tend to be at, at um, Anthropology rather than Urban Outfitters, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, that one's going to go on OTOT. I love to find these silk shirts, these 90s oversized boyfriend shirts. Um, this one, I can't quite make out the name on there, but I do believe it's embroidered. But that's the tag there. I just love this colour, it's so pretty. It matches my ring look. Really, really nice. It's not in perfect condition, but that's okay. It's only a pound. It's got the utility pockets. Sorry guys. I actually couldn't find my replacement battery. I have no idea what I've done with it. So I'm having to film on my phone and retiring the uh, G7X for now. Um, it's a really good camera, but it's only really good if you actually have some power to it. So let's continue on to the last couple of bits and uh, then we will finish this haul. So this one is brand new tags. It was five pounds and it's by Warehouse and it is the current label. I'm trying to get used to this. It's actually um, mirrored, so it confuses me slightly, unlike my camera. It has this lovely, uh, it comes off where it's like really, really vivid, but it's actually more like a raspberry red and a burgundy um, midi dress. And it's like an A-line dress. Just pull myself out here. I thought it was quite fun, a bit unusual. Um, it's brand new with tags. Like I said, size 12, it was £56, so uh, £5, that's all right. I'll probably put £40 on that one too. Da -da -da -da. Um, I'm bearing in mind that yes, it is summer, but I have to consider that I have got staff that needs to be kept busy and I can't have any downtime. So I'm now preparing for the winter months. Um, so I'm buying any and all stock that uh, I think will sell. So I came across this lovely fine knitted jumper dress. Just really simple. And it has pockets, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there we go, we've got like ribbed pockets just there. So really, really nice. Nice quality piece, really easy to wear. I can just imagine wearing this with near high boots. That's just really, really lovely. I will try not to steal it. It's got this brass zip all the way down the back, not all the way, halfway down the back. And it's by a brand called Between Me and You. And I have a sneaky suspicion it's a TK Maxx brand, but um, I don't know. It's a size medium. Let's have a look. 
but it doesn't say, oh yes it does, TJ Maxx Europe. There we go, I knew it was a TK Maxx brand. Um, I just bought it on the style alone. So I paid £3.75 for it and I'm going to put £39.99 on it eventually. I'm not going to list it yet, but um, that will be going online um, in ooh, what we in? July, August. So September, September time I was starting to list. Oh, oh, I thought it was. Just then I thought I wasn't like filming. That would have been annoying. Um, so yeah, I'll start listing in September, like the winter wear. This is another fun vintage shirt. This one's viscous. It's just like a crazy rusty print with mustard and tobacco. And we've got a little bit of aqua and turquoise in there. Uh, yeah, just a crazy print shirt, oversized. It's colourless with like ornate gold buttons there. Long sleeved button cuff. It's a good idea to check that your vintage shirt has all the buttons, um, otherwise you're going to struggle to replace it. This is a size 14, it cost me £2.50 and I'll probably put £29.99 on it. This, I don't usually pick up Monsoon, like I said. I keep saying I don't usually pick up Monsoon. Let's just rephrase that. I don't pick anything up, that's by Monsoon. Because even though it's actually quite a highly priced, um, good quality high street brand, um, it's more upper high street, and I personally like to buy it for myself. It's one of my favourite um, brands I like to shop at. Um, but for resale, I have to be really careful because not everything sells. Like the majority of Monsoon stuff does not sell that great. So um, I avoid it on as a brand itself. But if there's like a really unusual piece, I'll pick it up. And especially these like heavily embroidered, easy to wear items. So this is a rust coloured um, cami. It's got viscous on top with these metal beads and black embroidery. It's so, so pretty. And then it's layered with like a, a chiffon layering underneath there with like a slit. So it's really, really, really pretty. Very bohemian, as you would expect from um, Monsoon. It's in amazing condition. So yeah, and there's no bead shedding at all. I just love the fact that like there's loads and loads of beading all over the place. They haven't like cheaped out on that. I paid £4 for it, it's a size 12, and I will probably put £25 on that one. £25 to £30, we'll see. Here's this colour again, I'm always drawn to this colour. Here again is another brand that I don't just buy just because it's Coast. Coast is so expensive on the high streets, a really high-end, no it's not a really high-end price. It's like high-end um, high street, obviously, and it's quite expensive to buy if you're going to the store to buy it or as a concession um, but as a resale value it's not as good and it doesn't fly off the shelf so again I don't not buy Coast because it doesn't sell that great for me however I have to be really really careful what I pick up but this colour is so pretty it's like a dual blue colour it's like cobalt isn't it it's got this flutter sleeve detailing with the pie crust ruffles there and um, it's collarless with a keyhole on the back it's a boxy fit, so really, really easy to wear. You can style it up with like statement earrings. I can just imagine like contrasting like yellow earrings or something. Um, I just love this top so much. It is a size 12, which is my size, and it was £4.50. And I will probably put £25 on that one. It's just so lovely. I really, really like that. Um, Jimmy Choo does a pair of heels, court pumps, in this very colour. So I can just imagine someone wearing those with that. The pair of jeans and um, it's really really lovely i like that a lot here is another brand i like to be careful with it does have like a strong following um or a loyal following i should say and i really like the stuff generally the quality wise um i do pick it up sometimes when there's got a sale on or whatever i do actually go into french connection and buy it and they do have some really lovely pieces and their pieces do actually last i give them credit the stuff does actually last if you take care of it um, it survives the wash and things like that so it is worth the money um, but again the resale like 10 years ago I could list something French Connection it would just fly away like for so much money now it takes quite a long time to sell but um, I really like this one because of the khaki colour it's a simple boxy tank with the cap sleeve here it's a like contrasting fabric I don't know if you can tell but this is like a jersey here and then it's got um, 
like a polyester front with polyester cap sleeves. Um, it's like this olive colour, you know, it's a summer colour. It's a size medium, like new condition. It was £3.75. I'll probably put £19.99 on it. And hopefully that will sell. <clears throat> I really like Marks and Spencer pieces. Not everything again, but they have some fun pieces in. And I do actually have some Marks and Spencer pieces in my wardrobe. In fact, my favourite blazer. In fact, I'm thinking of my top three favourite blazers, and they're all Marks and Spencers. I've got a linen one, a black one, a red one a navy blue one so I actually have more so I really do like Marks and Spencer stuff and also when they do like Oliver Bonus um copies as well they do like these amazing Oliver Bonus inspired prints um so I like to go in there and check it out so they do have some really lovely pieces so I do pick up a lot of Marks and Spencer if I think it's fun or unusual this one I really liked because it had this Lorex uh, metallic thread running through it it's like a smart um maybe career to evening drinks blouse um it's navy blue so very very easy color to wear with this gold sparkle through um it's by indigo collection marks and spencers it's a pussy bow tie on the neck so it's uber boho very like artisan got a button cuff there um it's a great size for this brand marks and spencer bigger sizes do really well it's a size 12 so it's not actually a bigger size that would actually fit me that looks really big for 12 maybe it's supposed to be loose loose fitting it's very kate moss this um it was three pound fifty and i don't think i will struggle to get 25 for that i just think that's really really lovely and in really good condition too um i can just like imagine skinny black jeans with high heeled suede boots maybe a floppy hat like a felt floppy hat with that um, I might hold that one back uh, for later time in a couple of seasons, maybe, no not a couple of seasons, one season, not for summer, I don't think it's a summer top, it's definitely more autumn, winter. This is Jean Roche, Jean, by Jean Roche, um, cami top, I just thought, you know what, that is chic, it's classic, easy to wear, somebody, um, a lady who wants like no fuss but wants to look pretty as well, I just want to think that's just perfect. It's in like new condition. It's, um, I've forgotten what the fabric's called. It's like a raw silk look to it. I don't think it is raw silk, but it has that raw silk look. It's got real embroidery. It's, that's not printed on, that's all embroidered. Uh, so it's black and white, really easy to wear. You could wear that over trousers, over a skirt, no problem. Uh, it's a size 14. It is new because it's still got the stickers in. Uh, oh, it is, it's, it's silk blend. Oh, amazing so it is it is that stuff that i thought it was yeah so it's a silky top um i paid three pound for that i'll probably put 25 on that one you know what i'm so not used to talking i'm actually getting doms muscle doms in my throat oh, crazy lady last couple of pieces now um, I picked this up because I just loved it. So cute. It's navy and white and it's that um, chambray material. So it's, it looks like denim, but it's chambray. Um, it's a big size. This is why I picked it up because it is such an easy classic dress to wear. Perfect length. It's a plus size. It's size 18. Um, it's Dorothy Perkins. So it's going to be, you know, it's a decent brand. Um, people know what to expect. It's just a lovely summer dress that you could wear to a wedding or on a holiday. You can dress it up, dress it down. Very versatile. It's got a back tie there. Uh, zip down the front. Perfect summer dress. Um, yeah, so I paid £3.75 for it. I'm going to put £29.99 and I'll probably accept it, um, £25 for it. And um, yeah. This is the last piece from my haul. Uh, this is the Topshop sundress. Oh, excuse me, I've got hiccups. <laughs> uh, it's just a slip on dress. You can see that with the lace detailing. And I've got the spaghetti straps, um, multiple spaghetti straps, and I believe it's like a cross strap. Yeah, there we go. So it crosses at the back. I love these vintage inspired things. I mean, I'd wear this if it's a bit too short for me. I do not have the knees for this. Um, it's got this beautiful ditzy print. Got the lovely Victorian style lace there. And got the matching straps. And it's fully lined. It's smocked. 
you can see all that smocking there. Um, yeah, this is really, really pretty. Um, I can imagine like teaming this up with um, Doc Martens and a leather jacket or a denim jacket and cowboy boots, something like that. Um, it's hardly been worn. It's got very little wear to it. Uh, size 10, it cost me £3.50 and I'll probably put £21.99 on that one. I just think that's really, really pretty. Very boho, very prairie, um, like um southern gothic feel to that one. So yeah, and finally I wanted to run this by you guys. I am so torn. I don't know whether to sell these or to keep these. These are in my size and I was so excited to find these. And they cost me £10 if I remember correctly. Um, they're by Karen Millen and it's back when Karen Millen was like like it was new and up and coming it was like a really fresh brand it was actually Karen Millen was actually designing her own stuff um then it got really really popular about 15 years ago let me have a look Jane was three when it was like at its height I'll say so 10 11 years ago it was like at its height and if you listed anything by Karen Millen on eBay it just like sold so quickly and sold for loads of money um but these are like these shoes are from when she was like originally opened and I just love them. So they're pony skin, they are fuchsia and they've got the snake prints and they've got that western theme. These are so 90s, it's not even funny. We've got a square block heel. Um, oh my goodness, I love them so much. How nice are they? They're real leather, they're real cowhide. They are... They are real snakeskin, so that's a bit, um, a bit, what's the word, controversial. But uh, this is the rainbow snakeskin, how fun are they? I just love these and I think I'm going to keep them. I don't know what you think, guys. Um, if I was to list these, I would definitely put £100 on them. Um, I really, really love these. Um, I don't really even notice, but if you do your research, Karen Millen, Y2K, early, uh, late 90s stuff, um, is having a huge comeback people are wanting it back again it's like a nostalgic um feel to them but i love these i think these are going to look gorgeous with jeans and just like a fun flouncy top um i really really like them i just want to know what you guys think um yeah so these are my size like i said so i love them um my fiance hasn't seen them yet he might call me a clown um but we shall see um i don't care i think they're absolutely gorgeous and you know what, these things are coming in trend, back in trend so quickly now, these 90s style stuff. So ladies, if you have any in the back of your wardrobe, you know, if you're anything like my mum or um, some of the older ladies I know, they've still got stuff because they never throw anything out. They've still got stuff from the 90s and early 2000s in their wardrobe. So maybe you should maybe ask your mums, see if they've got anything lying around in your size. Um, obviously designer stuff is so expensive, you're looking at um like when I was 10 what 10 years ago 15 years ago shoes and handbags used to be under a grand no problem so like mulberry bags like a Bayswater would be 600 pounds and heels would be like 300 400 pounds and now we're getting to a point where shoes are creeping up to a thousand pounds a pair um and handbags are creeping up to two grand a bag so the same like Bayswater, you're looking at sixteen hundred pounds to eight um eighteen hundred pounds. So the best way to keep up with the trends is to go backwards instead of buying um current stuff um and you get that knowledge that no one else is going to be wearing this. So I just love the idea to be like on trend and people go, oh, I really love your shoes. Where do you get it from? I'm like, um, you can't get them. They're vintage, and I love that. I love to be able to do that. Um. And that's it so i hope you enjoyed my haul uh oh i may as well just tell you what i'm wearing so um this ring is by kelly hoppin and it's um a green quartz and gold band um i believe it's 14 carat um plated semi-precious stone this is um by mango touch and um, mango doesn't do this anymore but they used to have like an artisan um jewelry range of really expensive i say really expensive like they were 30 pound a bangle um so i bought myself a couple of these i only managed to get a skinny one 
I have loads of these, but I got this one. Um, it's got um, semi precious stone in there as well. Um, this, I believe, I think these are by Luna Moon. I can't remember now. Um, but they're just a gold um, tone plated hoop with real semi precious stones on there. They're like uncut quartz. And um, this is my engagement ring. Um, Michael had this one made for me. Um, so I don't know where it's from. It's just an engagement ring. And the dress is um, by Anthropology. Sorry, it's by Mauve. I think that's how you say it. Mauve? Maeve? I don't know. I'm, just, I'm killing the brand name. But it's for Anthropology. Um, and it's this jungle print with these gorgeous tigers on. Um, I absolutely love this. This was actually a gift. Um, Michael took me to Cheltenham for my birthday. And he treated me to some shopping so I, obviously I went into anthropology and completely abused the situation so um, I really like these summer tea dresses with fun prints because they're just really really easy to wear and uh, they're fun to look at too so yeah uh, and that's it I'm sorry I had to film the end of this on my phone I hope that didn't like detract from the quality this uber high quality video um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed my first back haul. I see now, I do wonder what I say half the time. But yes, I'm going to give my throat a rest and I'm going to download this video so you guys can watch it. Um, I hope to speak to you soon. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up please. Um, if you'd like to leave a comment, I'd like to get back to you all. Whoever like comments, I'd like to reply um, and say hello. So do come and say hello. If you have any questions, I'm happy to sort of read them and answer them for you if I can. Uh, yeah, and if you enjoyed this video, um, if you could subscribe, I'd be super, super grateful. Um, and to all my subscribers who are still with me, um, thank you so much for still being with me and I hope you're happy to see my face again and uh, yeah hopefully I'll have some time to um, do a lot more videos uh, yeah so I'm sure I'll keep you informed and uh, we'll see how things go so you guys have a great week and I hope to speak to you very soon speak to you later bye